Hi guys, welcome to this new Scott MX video. Today we're going to talk about marshalling, the responsibilities of our marshals, and also the safety and uh, importance of doing the marshalling job properly. So we're going to go through the flags and what they mean to both the rider and the marshal. We really appreciate all our volunteer marshals that come and help us at Scott MX, so we want to keep you guys safe and go through every detail of the marshalling duty. As you have seen year by year, our championship is getting busier and busier. There's more riders behind the start gates and the level of competition through every class is getting faster. So we want to keep you guys safe. One thing I would really like our volunteer marshals to consider is not to use their mobile phone while they're on a marshal post. Surely you can understand the dangers involved if you're not paying attention to the racing on track. We really want our marshals to pay attention to the racing on track both on the riders coming towards you and once they have passed your marshal point. We really want you guys to be safe. First up, we're going to grab the two flags that are given to our volunteer marshals before they go out to their designated points. First of all we have the yellow flag and it has two uses. As a stationary yellow flag, this is to warn the riders of an incident ahead. Riders must proceed with caution and be ready to take some avoiding action. So the second use of the yellow flag is the waved yellow. This is to warn the riders of a more serious incident ahead. Riders must not overtake, they must not jump and they may be prepared to stop. Next up is our medical flag. The medical flag kind of has two purposes. Uh, number one, it's to alert the rider that there's an injured rider on track and the medics are attending that rider. Also, our medics will pay attention to this flag and get to the incident as soon as possible. But don't worry, my medic team are also on our Scott MX radio system. So that was the two flags as used by our marshals out on the points around the circuit. Next up, we'll go and show you the flags used by our official Scott MX race team. So this is a very important flag, the red flag. This will only be used by our Scott MX officials. It means the race has stopped. Riders must be ready to come to a stop immediately and return to the start finish area when told to do so. So the green flag, this is a good one. This means everything's ready, the track is clear and the start team are ready to go. We come to the black flag. This will be displayed by our official team with a rider number who's currently on track. And if you see this with your number, unfortunately you're disqualified. Next up, we have the blue flag. This is to warn our slower riders that you're about to be lapped. A faster rider is approaching behind you. Please maintain your line, maintain your speed and do not hinder the faster rider coming past you. So the last lap flag, the race is almost over. This will be shown to our leader of the race once the clock has gone to zero. It will then stay out for every rider until that leader comes round again for the checkered flag. The checkered flag, the race is over. The first one to collect this is going to be the winner of the race. Well done everyone for reaching the checkered flag. Okay, so thank you for watching our video highlighting the information of our flags to both our marshals and the competitors, as well as everyone involved in the event. We want you guys to stay safe and enjoy your day marshalling. Also, at the same time, recognizing the responsibility each marshal has. So thanks for watching. Please share this video. Come back and watch it again if you want to familiarize yourself with the flags. And we look forward to seeing you at a race soon.